You have to start trying to build your own country because if you don't start, then how will people ever learn how to be self-sufficient and self-reliant? I don't know, but if you ask me, I think the Dominican Republic is trying to take a page out of Trump's book. All right, thank you for joining me today, guys. New news coming out of Latin America. Currently, the Dominican Republic starts building a border wall with Haiti. Yes, these two countries have been at odds for years, but it's not what you think. Yes, Haiti is the poorest Latin American country, and yes, the Dominican Republic is one of the rising Latin American countries in regards to tourism. But hey, Dominican Republic has its reasons for why it is building a border wall with Haiti. Currently, the website The Hill is reporting that the Dominican Republic on Sunday, which was February 20th, 2022, began constructing a wall that will cover about half of its 244 mile border with Haiti. The wall is an effort to stop the smuggling of goods, weapons, and drugs, as well as illegal migration from Haiti, according to Reuters. The benefit for both nations will be of great importance, and this is stated by Dominican President Luis Abinader, said of the wall before officially beginning the construction efforts, Reuters reported. The president started the project just before the anniversary of the Dominican Republic's independence from Haiti on February 27, 1844. He noted that the first part of the wall should be finished within nine months, the new service added. Haiti, one of the poorest nations in the Americas and the Dominican Republic's only land neighbor, has been riddled with crime and scandal following the assassination of former president Jovenel Moise. Earlier this month, investigators and a judge alleged that the Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry was involved in the assassination. I actually made a vlog on that exact content just this past week, so definitely go ahead and check my playlist if you want more information about Ariel Henry and his involvement in the assassination. So meanwhile, the Dominican Republic has seen recent success as a Caribbean tourist destination. Given the contrast of the two countries, many Haitians have traveled to the Dominican Republic seeking work. As of the most recent immigration survey, which took place in 2018, 500,000 Haitians, along with tens of thousands of their descendants, live in the Dominican Republic, which has a total population of around 11 million people, Reuters noted. So definitely Haiti is a populous nation, it has 11 million people, but many people really don't know where Haiti is located. So as you can see, this is Central America right here. All right, so once you go into the Caribbean, you'll see many Latin American countries and you'll see the Latin American island of Hispaniola, where the two countries that we're talking about today lie. And here we have Haiti to the left and we have the Dominican Republic to the right. All right, so this is the Caribbean Sea and this is La Hispaniola. All right, and so this is the land border that they're pretty much referring to. So as you can see, there's a significant border between these two countries. And I've seen from many videos on YouTube, especially Kurt Kaz and also Philly Dom, that definitely Haitians do find their way going back and forth between the border without any immigration process. And also the Dominicans do it as well, but for different reasons. And so definitely, I know from experience that Haiti definitely is a poor nation. My family is from here, from Gonav Islands, and definitely I know there's a lot to be desired in the country. So I do understand why Haitians would travel on foot and try to get into the Dominican Republic because as they're stating that there's more jobs available in the Dominican Republic. So usually people make that trek from one country to another just for work and then find their ways back home by dinner time. So there's a myriad of reasons why they do it, but Dominican Republic has put their foot down and they're standing no more and they will build their border wall now. So going forward with more news from Al Jazeera, I'll go ahead and show you some photographs. Right here we have the Dominican Republic soldiers keep watch near the construction of a border wall that will cover almost half of the border with Haiti to stop a regular migration and criminal activities in Abanico in Dajabon province, Dominican Republic. All right, and as we scroll further down, we have here a photograph of Haitians routinely crossing the border into the Dominican Republic to sell goods at a market in Dajabon. And so this wall may have good and bad impacts because I do know a lot of Dominicans do buy things from Haitians cheaply. So who knows how that might impact both economies. 
So, you know, it may help with migration, but it may harm in the short run. But hey, it probably gives everyone the incentive to do things the right way and stop, you know, buying things from people from across the border when they probably should be buying it in their own land. So who knows? So let's go ahead and look at more photographs. And here we have the project also includes the construction of 70 watchtowers and 41 access gates for patrolling. And so overall, the exodus of Haiti dates back to at least 2010 when an island was struck with a huge 7.2 earthquake that killed an estimated 316,000 people and devastated much of the country. Haitians fled to the United States, to Chile, Brazil, and in recent months, Mexico in search for safety and for work opportunities. I know this Al Jazeera article states that the exodus dates back to 2010, but there was never really a wall. Anytime a Haitian wanted to go back and forth or Dominican vice versa, they could without any problem in different type of bush and different type of land um, spots that there wasn't any guard. So you may call it an exodus in 2010, but they've been going back and forth for many, many years, since the beginning of time, because there, there was no particular border. But going further, but governments in the region have been tightening their border restrictions and making it increasingly more difficult for Haitians to settle in other countries. Last September, the US deported the majority of some 15,000 Haitians who had arrived at its southern border with Mexico, hoping to claim asylum. Citing a pandemic era rule that allows border agents to quickly expel asylum seekers without the chance to file claims, Haitians, many of whom have not lived in Haiti in years, were set on board deportation flights back to their crisis-stricken land. Mexico has also deported dozens of Haitians back to Haiti by plane and made efforts to keep migrants away from the U.S.-Mexico border. Migrant advocates have blasted the U.S. and Mexico's treatment of Haitian migrants, calling it cruel and a violation of international law. Meanwhile, Abinader estimated the border wall will reduce the smuggling of commercial goods, weapons, and help fight organized crime in both nations. He started the project which aims to build a 164 kilometer, which is 102 miles, wall a week ahead of the anniversary of the Dominican Republic's independence from Haiti back on February 27, 1844, as stated before. The concrete wall, topped by a metal mesh, will be 3.9 meters, which is overall 12.8 feet high, and will have fiber optics for communication, movement sensors, cameras, radars, and drones. The project also includes the construction of 70 watchtowers and 41 access gates for patrol. So if you ask me, being a Haitian, how do I feel about the Dominican Republic putting up a border wall? Truthfully, I feel like it's great. The Dominican Republic is a sovereign nation just as much as Haiti is, and each of them have the ability to put up border walls that they deem fit. I know this is gonna stop a lot of commerce on both ends, but we need to stay honest to the rules of both nations. For years, there have been rules in place to stop the migration from one country to the next. So I would say the people need to follow the rules. I know it's gonna be hard. I know people are gonna be losing money, but hey, you have to start trying to build your own country because if you don't start, then how will people ever learn how to be self-sufficient and self-reliant? So in the end, just like the president of Dominican Republic states, it will be better for both countries. So, you know, that's my opinion on the matter, you know, but I do know, I do know most likely the people that will be building the wall will be Haitians. But hey, if anything, that gives more opportunities for those Haitians or even Dominicans who's ever helping build the wall to earn extra income in the meantime. So in the end, it's all good. Do what you gotta do, Dominican Republic. Me being a Haitian, I'm not hating on you. Rules are rules. People need to learn how to follow them. Simple as that. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you always watching these videos and keeping up with the newest news out of Latin America and any other country that I feel like reporting on. So stay with me. I'm here. I'm sure that you learned something today. That's the whole purpose of what I'm doing with these news articles. I want people to learn and be aware of what's going on around them. So stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to Jesus and not to me. I'm just a vessel to remind you of that. Have a blessed day.